Okay, so you just push the Xbox button, start the Xbox, and push the yellow button on the power. <coughs> Turn the television on. <coughs> Make yourself comfortable. The Xbox will start up. Then on the controller, you've got a green button saying Xbox, so you're just going to push that button there once and it should sync then. It has uh, sync because you can see just the one quarter is lit and that's obviously synced to the Xbox. So the Xbox is still starting up. It'll side in the profile automatically uh, so you no need to mess with the profile and it'll automatically uh, link to the TP-Link wireless network router so you can do a system link game between the other simulators those two there which have the same setup but a slightly different Xbox um, the button on the Xbox being this one here and the same for under the other machine and the green button on the Xbox being here uh, if you ever need to sync the controller because it's not syncing correctly there's a button there and you hold that one down and you can sync the controller and there's a button on the controller to do that and you'll have the instructions for the controller given to you but it's the red button here to sync if by any chance it won't sync automatically but it should and it's, we can tell that it has because we've got the green light on like I said so this Xbox is a little bit slow to start up but it will start momentarily there we go and it's signed in automatically to the profile so Once it's done its thing, you're just going to go to Forza 2, or whatever the game is in, um, in the disc, in the machine, and uh, push start. So we'll just, you can use the cursors on the wheel here, to just, and we can push the cursor, the cursor in, which will be uh, the same as the A button here. So you can actually push the cursors in, which is the same as the A button.